Hi guys and welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire um, and this is the second video in a three-part series about the Yale Connexus L1 Smart Lock. So in the first video we uh, installed the lock and if you want to watch that you can just click up on the banner. Um, in the second video we are now, which is this one, we are now going to connect it to Samsung's smart things to make it a kind of truly smart lock. So if you don't want to miss the next video, which is going to be about the pros and cons of the Yale lock or any of our other videos, then please do subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you want to be notified, then please click the bell icon to make sure you get notified when we upload a new video. Um, and if you like this video in particular, then please do like it. Thank you very much. Right, without further ado, so the things you're going to need. So we're assuming that you've already installed the L1 Connexus Smart Lock. It's already on your door. Then to connect it to uh, Samsung Smart Things, first of all, you're going to need a hub. Now, some smart things you don't have to have a hub for, but this one you do because it actually uses the Z-Way to talk, so you cannot do this without the hub. So, uh, smart hub, this is the three, I think. This is the third generation, I believe. Um, the other thing you need is you need a little module for the actual lock itself, which is the Z-Way module two. Uh, and basically that allows the lock to talk to the smart things hub. Um, all of these things are available on Amazon. I've left uh, uh, links in the description, so obviously uh, you can get those pretty easily. Right, so without further ado, let's do this. Hi guys, so I know a lot of you have probably already got the Samsung Smart Things Hub, but um, just in case you haven't, I'm just gonna show you how to set it up quickly. So once you get Samsung Smart Things Hub, you literally just plug the power into the back, should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, so you're just plugging that in, and then you're gonna get the LAN cable, plug that into the LAN port, and then the other end of that cable, you're gonna put into the back of your router into one of the LAN ports, or the WAN, the LAN ports. Um, it doesn't have to be your router, it can be a switch on your network or, or wherever, um, but just to make sure that you're getting onto your network with this cable. Uh, one thing to bear in mind is that this is using Z-Wave uh, technology to talk wirelessly to your Yale lock. So uh, try to put it fairly close to, to, to where the lock is. Um, in this situation we've got an external wall so i'm actually an extension so i've got an external wall and then another solid brick wall and it's been absolutely fine i've not had any problems with connectivity whatsoever so i think it's pretty good but um but just in case try not to encase it in metal as well because obviously that does hinder radio waves all right all right let's get on with the, the lock part so Installing the Z-Wave module is really simple. So once you've got it out of this box, a little blue thing like this, um, you basically just slide this top cover off. That's it. Get the module. Make sure you've got the pins facing into the uh, little slot there and just pop it in. And then the lock will make that little confirmation noise. And then you can just slide this back on the top. It is so simple to install that module. I, I would like to make this look more complicated, but that's how simple it is. Okay, so the final bit is just going to be pairing the lock with the smart things hub. So in your tablet or pad or iPad or whatever you're using, you open up smart things. When you get to smart things, go to the top and press the plus. Then go to devices and then go down to uh, where it says smart locks and then you'll see Yale. Once you get to Yale, select the Yale Connexus and it will load. And once that's happened, you get the little button here just saying start, click on start. And then this part, you're selecting the room that you want it to go to. So for me, it was the front door. Um, and then you basically, what you've got to do is take off the little uh, bit, the plastic bit where you put in the module and just press the little button there that's got the R next to it. You've got to press that three times in a row, but it's got to be quite quick. And then you'll see it will connect. Um, it's pretty pretty easy and it does it pretty quickly. At this point you can name the lock something else if you want to call it like front door or something. You can do that. And there you see it. It's uh, it's on your, on your hub. So the next thing to do is to uh, pair it with Alexa, which is pretty simple. So let's do that. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. Turn on your new devices now, and if needed, put them in pairing mode. I found Yale Connexus Lock, and you can control it by saying, Lock Yale Connexus Lock. 
Alexa, lock the front door. Locking. Hang on. The front door is locked. Alexa, what is the status of the front door? Checking. Hang on. The front door is locked. Alexa, unlock the front door. Please unlock manually. To enable unlock by voice, open the Alexa app. Go to devices and edit this lock settings. Thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To see more videos like this, please do click the subscribe button and make sure you tap that bell icon to get notified when we upload a video. Um, the next video is going to be all about the pros and cons of this lock, uh, what I really liked about it and what I didn't. Uh, and there's quite a few of both, so make sure you look out for that. Thanks for watching.